flexion and extension of the cervical spine. Fulcrum is going to go over the uh, external auditory meatus. Moving arm is in line with the base of the nares of the nose, and this is going straight up perpendicular to the sky. So Travis, if you could uh, take your chin down towards your chest best you can. So this is like an aggregate of cervical flexion. Boom. We're going to say that was 40 degrees. Now look up towards the sky as much as possible. Again, an aggregate of extension. Whoops. I, made, I did that. Relax, relax. I did that wrong. Okay. Now go ahead and look up. Great. Relax. And I'll say 90, 73 degrees. So that's your overall flexion extension. You could do the same thing with capital and just have him do a skull. If we go back here for side bending, we're going to put the fulcrum at C7. Then we're going to have the moving arm straight down the spot or the stationary arm straight down the spine. Moving arm, center of the skull, or also known as the external occipital protuberance. And then take your left ear down to your left shoulder. Just going to side bend. 180 is zero. Boom. You're, you can relax. So it also could be at zero. So now it's at 41 degrees of left side bend. Rotation. Uh, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're at just the center of his head. Stationary arm is in line with the shoulders on both sides. This is going to be in line with his nose. And then look to the left best you can. I'll take this over this way. You can relax. Bring this down here. It started at 90. So it's moved 60 and then six more degrees. So 66 degrees of rotation.